hey y'all, it's Aiden Haitian over here, as you guys can tell. I'm out here walking with the dog. If you see it, if you don't, don't matter. She's not the one talking to y'all today. Uh, man, it's a beautiful day out here. It's just windy as hell. So I'm hoping that you guys can still hear me to an extent. Or at least enough to where you don't have to turn up your volume too much. Right? Um, it's a beautiful day out here. It really is. Uh... It's a fucking Sunday. Got work in the morning, but it's whatever. Alright, so today I'm gonna just do a continuation. When I do these walks, I'm gonna try to see if I can do more like a law of attraction talks with you guys to um I guess just talk about it, you know, so that you guys can actually get an idea of what I've been learning, how I understand it, and what you guys can pick up from it as well and use it to your own daily life. Because you know, at the end of the day, you are working on yourself. Everything that you do is for you and your family members and your loved ones, but it starts with you, you know. So, that's what we're going to talk about, is you. How we can make sure that you are and will always be perfect, you know, and how you can always be true to yourself, no matter what's going on, you know. The people are always going to test you, people are always going to try to test your faith, always going to try to test your loyalty. But I feel like if you're loyal to yourself, you can never go wrong. You know, there's no reason for you to be fake. There's no reason for you to be dishonest. There's no reason for you to lie to anybody because of the fact that you're true to who you are, true to yourself, true to your being, you know. And especially when it feels good in here, you know what I'm saying? When it feels good to know that whatever it is you're doing, it is bringing you joy. And a lot of people fail to realize this shit because they think that what makes them feel good about bringing others joy, which is fine to an extent, but. If I'm not happy, if you're not happy, why? Why would you keep doing it to yourself? You know what I'm saying? So, I guess you kind of kind of look at it as that aspect goes. Um, it's a journey. It's a huge journey. Uh, I want to say I didn't look. You learn law of attraction to about the middle of last year. Um, got these dogs over here that like to mess with my dog. I don't think I'm going to show up any minute now, but hopefully they'll interrupt my tape. But anyway, um, so when I what I did was, about the first six months or so of it, when I started learning it, I started with Tony. Because, you know, like I said, I was depressed or whatever. I was going through my own shit, so I started with Tony. Tony Robbins, right? So watching his tapes, listening to him, and what he went through. Damn, they are And what he went through. And basically, how he overcame, you know, how he overcame his circumstances and how he was able to make them, make him successful, really. That drew me, that grabbed my attention, you know, that made me understand that, hey, this can happen. Good things can happen out of bad situations, you know, and that's because something's going one way doesn't mean it's how it's going to stay, right? Trying to see. I'm be a little lazy on this one. So I'm actually trying to see if I can place this thing down somewhere. <sighs> just so I can talk to y'all. My arms aren't really tired. I'm just feeling lazy right now. But anyway, we ain't gonna stop. So, from Tony, I gotta learn other shit. Of course, this is where the law of attraction thing come in, come in and started to come in at. But what tripped me out about the whole law of attraction shit is. I learned it from Tony, initially, you know, I initially learned it from him, but what ended up happening is, down the line, when I started meeting certain people, and actually making new connections with people who were on the same shit that I was on, and, you know, like, doing the law of attraction, listening to different types of people who were studying it, you know, once I did that, that's when I actually got into Abraham Hicks. You know, because a friend of mine told me about it and realizing that it wasn't what I thought it was. It was so much bigger than me, than anything I could ever imagine. And that's a, what Abraham X is. And so what I ended up doing is, this was only the last couple of months. Like, not even really a full month that I've actually been studying Abraham X. But that's what I've been, I picked up on. You know, because I knew that it was something that could help me. Something that could expand my mind, expand my perspectives and help me understand different things in a different way and 
lot to learn a lot about myself you know throughout all of this i've learned a lot about myself and that's what you'll do too in this whole process of the law of attraction you know and there's different aspects that you can do and learn in doing so you know and people they fail to realize that they fail to realize that so instead what they do is they look at it as oh this is like the, the answers to all my problems it, which it is, it is, depending on how you take it. You do have to come in prepared to receive whatever is happening. And you do have to be prepared to actually give it out as well. Like, I can't just talk about something and not do any, not put it into action. You know, I have to be able to express it, let other people know about it as well. So that way it can work, you know. So something that's something I just really had to understand and put into perspective and actually use to my benefit so that I would know how to work on myself how to be better to myself you know i'm actually at the park now or one of these parks up here but chai she's still simple but i just wanted you guys to see you know what i was coming from as far as that goes you know because it's a whole lot of things that go into law of attraction it's a lot of um self-serving um not necessarily self-serving but more so a lot of self-searching soul searching you know because you do have to find out a lot about yourself and stuff like that and what makes you tick what makes you motivated what makes you happy you know what makes you not happy you know and that's what i'm gonna actually gonna help you guys with as much as i can because i'm still learning this as well like this is not gonna be a overnight process and you're definitely gonna there's gonna be some things about yourself that you're not gonna like and that's one that you have to work on and also gonna be some things about what's in your life now that you're gonna have to make some changes to that's gonna help you get to where you need to be because at the end of the day how whatever you however you feel however you you are however your mindset is is what's gonna affect your everyday life your businesses your family and everything else so you want to think about it like that because it's it's not just that you think it's going to be you and then affecting everybody else around you. So keep that in mind. And let, me guys, let me know what you guys think. As always, I'm still out here with Chai. Chai. There she is. There she go. So just reach out to me. Let me know what you guys think. Send me text messages. I'm shutting down a lot of stuff with MCA. Um, that message they sent me kind of threw me off. Um... More so, I'm just taking out an 800 number. I don't need it. Um, you guys know how to reach me. If you, it's gonna be mostly text, so you guys can be all right. You know, just hit me up in text message. I can't be on the phone with you guys all day unless you're trying to actually sign up. You know, just to be honest about that shit. Only because I get a lot of people that call me about the same stuff that I explain in my videos. So, don't do that. Um, but that is also going away. Join Join MCA Total Security is going away. It's actually being di redirected to another page. So just keep an eye on all of that. I'm always still working. Cause I am still working for you guys. I don't really care. I don't have to be your MCA to do anything. I can do whatever the hell I want to do and still be able to help you guys in the same process towards your businesses, you know? So um, keep an eye on everything that I'm working on. I'm out here, man, at home just enjoying this fucking weather, man. It's just, just fucking beautiful. And, you know, I'm just hoping to take this shit on to, to the next step. You know, like, let's make this shit the rest of our lives. Like, <clears throat> trying to be rich doing this shit. And I know you were too. And I hope they didn't have an accident right behind me. But any fucking way, let me get the fuck up out of here, man. I'll see y'all in the next one.